in the lab one design you're going to design a logic circuit that is a locked box with a 4-bit input and that locked box only opens for these inputs that are listed here and when the box opens the output uh, is equal to a 1. So in the first part of this lab you want to start off by writing out the truth table so your truth table will have four inputs A, B, C, and D and you'll just have the one output F and you just want to fill in uh, this truth table with all the possible combinations now remember um, as talked about in the lecture if you want to find out how many values from the number of bits you have you just take 2 and raise it to that number of bits and that equals uh, the values that you can obtain from those values of bits. So here we have two, or excuse me, here we have four bits so there's 16 possible input combinations so you just want to write these out and please when you uh, <clears throat> complete a truth table like this put put your uh, combinations here in binary order so I see binary 0, binary 1, binary 2, binary 3 and so on uh, that just makes it a whole lot easier uh, to check okay so you can just complete this and you know for input 0 the outputs gonna be 0 because we don't get a 1 out until we have an input of a binary 5 so all these uh, outputs would be 0 so the locked box would not open for all these combinations but the first time oops it's a 0 the first time or the first combination that the locked box would actually open is when you have a binary 5, right? But you can complete this on your own. And then once you have the truth table from this truth table, uh, determine the sum of products and also the product of some expressions. And these are the non-reduced. Okay, so write the non-reduced right from the truth table and then draw your black box diagram so um, <clears throat> this circuit that you're going to be modeling uh, with Verilog you're going to have two outputs so your black box diagram you know this is locked box it's going to have two outputs uh, one's SOP, one's POS, and you're going to have four inputs A, B, C, D. Okay, so that's your black box diagram, and then you're going to put this into a uh, K map. Okay, so since we have uh, 16 rows here, you need a 16 cell K map. And from that, you want to get your reduced SOP and your reduced POS. And then these equations, the reduced equations, are what you're going to use to build your circuit in Vivado. So that's the first part of this lab. The second part of this lab is just now coming up with the reduced nor nor expression and then adding that to what you already have in part one so in part two you're gonna add a third output that will be your nor nor okay and once you uh, have this all simulated uh, successfully in a in your simulation make sure you have all 16 test cases well then you want to download your design to your board after a successful simulation you want to download your design to your board and then on your board demonstrate that uh, all 16 rows of this truth table give the correct output